Greetings team. Welcome to Monday Morning Pearls brought to you by Span the Chasm. My name is Randy Reimersma. Before we get into the pearl, I want to encourage you to go out and listen to our podcast, Uncommon Sales Success. It's a compilation of interviews with sales leaders across the space. Some great learnings in here. Why does it matter to you? Because there's very practical and immediately actionable advice that's going to come out of these things. Learnings from mistakes, uh, best practices that we're seeing playing out in the field, stuff that's going to help you be more successful immediately. Where do you go get them? Go to span the chasm forward slash podcast. All the information you need is there. It'll point you to all the different platforms that you might like. So with that, on to this week's Monday Morning Pearl. Hey team, as you know, I get to talk to a lot of sales reps and a lot of sales leaders on a regular basis. And I, and I feel this anxiety with a lot of sales reps about asking hard questions. Well, I wonder if we can do a little mental reframe on this. It's going to really create a lot of relief for you as you're going through the day. Instead of asking hard questions, let's reframe it more positively and say we're going to ask only important questions. And there's a couple of reasons why I want to take you down this path. Number one, if I'm asking a hard question, I have already negatively programmed my brain that this is difficult. It's likely to be uncomfortable for the other person. Whereas if I reframe it as an important question, it gives it a positive status and that's going to affect my emotional state when I ask this question of my prospect, of my client, whoever it is that I need to get this information from. Here's the other reason why I want to reframe it from a hard question to an important question. It is an important question because it's information that you need to know. It might be their commitment to doing an evaluation of your solution against their requirements. Maybe it's for asking about their plan to fund something or what their strategy is to solve this very important problem. It's an important piece of information that you, as a trusted advisor, as someone that's seeking their best outcomes, you need to know it. So it's an important question. It's not a hard question. Here's the other thing I like about this that I hope you'll find some relief from. If we only focus on asking important questions versus hard questions, there's a handful of important questions. There's not that many of them. But if you think about hard questions, they're nearly infinite, but many of them don't drive information that you're seeking. So when we reframe from a hard question to an important question, suddenly the field of play gets a lot smaller about the number of questions that we actually need to ask. And absolutely on top of all this, it is critical that your confidence comes through. How you ask a question always, always will outweigh the question that you actually ask. You must present that with a sense of obviousness and a sense of confidence that of course you would ask this question because it's important and I want to serve you best and to do that I simply must ask it. Therefore, I'm going to step into this thing and I know it's going to be a great experience for you and for me in this information exchange. That mental mindset of knowing that this is important, therefore I'm going to have confidence when I ask it, is going to be critical as you go through this and this is going to separate you. The reason it separates is that so many reps out there are asking hard questions and their throat gets dry. Their heart rate comes up. They get nervous. They get sweaty palms. And your prospect feels it. They know it. They see what's going on and that immediately puts them on edge. Through the years of practicing this, I've taught myself I can ask anybody any question with a sense of obviousness and confidence that of course I would want to know this information because it's important. I want to encourage you to take the same mindset practice it. They aren't hard questions. Let's ask important questions. Ones are going to drive outcomes so that you can serve your prospects and clients better. This concept of questions is something that you and or your team are struggling with. We'd love to have a conversation with it. You know that we're always available for you. Reach out to us on one of our channels. We'll have a conversation and see if it makes sense for us to serve you. But we love helping organizations lose the negative emotions of hard questions and move towards the positive emotions of asking important questions that are going to actually create velocity for your opportunities. Until later, have a great day. Pleasure talking to you.